always edit this. I gotta suffer again later. So I watched this show about... <laughs> oh, just, just let him talk there. Sorry, and... it always gets me. <laughs> so I watched this show. It was called When Supernatural Battles Become Commonplace. That show is terrible. Don't watch that show. Anyway, uh, the show has battle in its name. There's maybe like 30 seconds of battle across the entire series. And I was so mad. Because it's made by Trigger. The guys who made Kill a Kill. So it's like, oh. Uh, and the part of the 30 seconds of battle is the opening theme song. And that part of the opening theme song looks like it would be cool if it was a full battle scene. But no, there's no battle scenes. I was so mad. And now he's I've watching been, the second season. The second season isn't out yet, Brett. But you're going to watch it, aren't I you? I will watch it, because I hate myself. <laughs> On the bright side, at least I found out that I can bypass like half these fucking battles. Like, holy shit. That's it's like game. fucking Dark Souls. This is not the game I. What'd you I think remember. it was? This is not the game I remember. I told you it was like this. I told you about the deflecting shit. I told you everything. You just didn't listen. I guess I didn't. Well, it was either this or the only other game I could. I could find that I thought it would be like old and funny was Final Fight Streetwise. Fuck you! <laughs> no! No! Okay. I thought you were gonna kill yourself. I was waiting for it. <laughs> well, at least, look, I'm going through this much quicker. I haven't died once, so... This is Dark Souls, man. This is pretty much Dark Souls. You do the one, then you then you learn the pattern. Then you learn how to run, run past everybody. I think it's over there. Yeah. Like, holy shit, this is just such a small area once you know what to fucking do. Well, it, it's a huge area, but you're avoiding most of it. That is bullshit, eh? Eh, yeah, it's fine. I feel like I should be apologizing to you, Brett. Um, no, you, you don't need to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You hear that, Brett? Sean says I don't need to apologize to you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this so is the- fuck pretty, you. <laughs> If I recall, chapter one is dumb. It's chapter one- I'm pretty sure the other chapters are more Linear. good. you think that this would just be, you know, introducing- Cause, Because this is the- Because it introduces the jetpack and it wants you to do all this bullshit platform. The, other, the rest of the game isn't really- From what I remember, the final level is really easy. The final level is really easy, strangely enough. You just get the flamethrower out. Yeah, just flamethrower. I thought you said that you can beat her. Right. We cheated. used the cheat to skip the level we couldn't beat. Oh. So I actually know how to play through 90% of the game. This is that one level. Chorus? No, not Chorus. Tatooine. Tatooine. Oh, yeah, Tatooine yeah, yeah. is the level we couldn't beat. The prison's also hard, but I beat it. What are those guys on ta Tatooine again? The sand? The guy just fell over. It, the, that guy totally just fell over. You just <laughs> left. <laughs> There's like no reason. I guess the only incentive you have to do those is to get bounties. Yeah. And for funsies. Okay, now the, now is the now is the boss. I gotta fight this dumb ship. Most of the bosses are big ships. So, so jazzed to be doing this. Doesn't have much health. I think Django Fett just like. Oh, that's that. just the turn. Yeah. Like, it sits at, up at night, like, smoking cigarettes, and he's like, wow, I have a really cool job. Probably his job is really cool. If you get the rifle out... Do I have a rifle? It's like, my brother's an accountant. No? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you had the rifle. No, you gotta, that's a, like a... It's probably, that's probably how you speed run it. What's the game that you're the best at beating? The best at beating? At, at, at any one time. What do you mean? What? Like, you, you could beat like this game in your sleep. Uh, Mega Man X for the Game Boy. 
That was Mega Man Zero. Whatever. The one that was on the fucking Game Boy. I beat that every fucking day for like two years. On the bus ride over, on the bus ride back, and then during lunch. I beat the game three times a day. And I never got bored. What about you, Sean? I don't know. I beat Metroid Prime six times. Is there just no sound effects for this thing blowing up? I guess not. not. That's weird. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe those silent explosions. There's just fan noises. Maybe it's for dramatic effect. The sound effects are kicking in now. Payback, you hear me? It totally is kicking in right now. You hear that? The what? The sound effects for the, the, the cutscene, previous cutscene, are loading in now. You. They oh were totally god. going over that entire conversation we had. Oh my god. Alright, chapter one Dead or Alive, Miko, Ducking Bay. It's time to. He's killed 18, non enemies killed, zero. zero. Secondary bounty, zero kills. They should replay it. I should replay it, get the rest of the bounties, you're right. <laughs> Like, how fucking short was that when I fucking just did it? Okay, I'm pretty sure the rest of the game isn't as rough as that. I think Clancy Brown does voices. Who's Clancy Brown? It might be this voice. Oh, wait, shut up. This is our Virgil. Ross, I can pay you double, triple, please! Please don't kill me! I'm worth more alive! You're worth enough dead. Yeah, that's fancy, Brad. Really? <laughs> Does the evil fingers? Bounty of 5,000 Republic credits transferred to your account. Well done, Django. Miko's bounty, courtesy of the correctional authority. You have a one? Yes, they all have those. Hey, you're forgetting my finder's fee. Well, I'm not even counting the damage to my station. I'm just glad to be rid of that. You are like dying in the background. Only reason I asked you to come back. A transmission came for you. It's personal. Huh, I didn't even peek. Greetings, Django Fett. I am Tyrannus. I have a proposition. This is where Django Fett's mail comes. A select few chosen to participate in a special hunt. For a special prey. If you succeed, the reward will be in the amount of five million Republic credits. <laughs> five million? <gasps> wow, that could make you for life. Who's the poor sap with that kind of? No, it's not that much. I mean, to kill a Jedi, I kind of want a bit more. And capture Komari Vosa, dead or alive, the deranged leader of the Bando Gora. No, no, Django. Not the Bandogora. It's too dangerous even for you. Like you said, this hunt can make me. Or break you. No bounty hunter who set out after the Bandogora has ever returned. <laughs> Worried about losing your finder's fees? Now that's not fair. You know I worry about you. What else do you know about this Bandogora? Only rumors. It's a very secretive organization. They're everywhere and nowhere at the same time. I heard they're behind the new Death Stick craze. Death Sticks are big in Coruscant's underworld. Oh, that reminds me. There's a bounty for a Death Stick dealer on Coruscant. He's small time, though. Ha, probably not worth the effort. If he's in with the Bandagora, it's a good start. I don't know. <sighs> but there's no evidence that he's with the Bandagora. Bad feeling about this one, Django. <laughs> what else is new? These bad feelings, Sean. Why did her hologram transform into her Sith self? I know, that was weird. Yeah. I know that too. I'd be surprised if I didn't. Incoming transmission. Decoding now. So how come he gets his mail on his ship? Why doesn't Django Fed get that too? Well, that was because of Django's shit. I have a proposition for you. I can't afford holograms. <laughs> I can't afford a... <laughs> Look how shitty it is. No, I would that's love not, that. That's, that's uh, that bad guy's ship. I would love that if in the Star Wars universe, holograms are a luxury. Poor people watch TV. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Why don't you spend some of your hard-earned cash on a new ship? Not a chance. She belonged to Jasta Maria. I know, I know. The Mandalorian soldier who took you under his wing. You ever think maybe you hang on to that? that that's every fucking Mandalorian's backstory. Oh yeah, like this belonged to that dude that raised me, made me a Mandalorian. <laughs> Like, every single one. I'm pretty sure there are no natural Mandalorians anymore. Jervis Gloom. Coruscant police want him alive. My sources tell me he works the, the entertainment center. He's a hipster. Streak knows anything about the Bandogora. When I find him, I'll ask. Wait, is he the guy in the canteen in Attack of the Clones? He might be. Actually, he does look like that, doesn't he? Yeah. Just take away the goggles. Yeah, he looked just like that. I remember that because that's the best scene of Attack on the Clones. That is the best scene in Attack on the Clones. Prove <laughs> your life. I should go and prove my life. Hey, you want some death sticks? I don't want death sticks. You should go home and prove your life. I'm going to go home and improve my life. <laughs> Dead or alive. That scene's really funny. Don't, okay, don't, I mean, mean, don't mean to nitpick, but I think it's... Uh... What up? Sorry. A couple of... This is, this is the one time where the game gets... Kind of interesting because this this area is a bit of an open world. I replayed this mission a lot, so I know where all the shit is. Well, you that, that girl's a bounty. <laughs> really? That's a bounty. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I replayed this because this is the only one that was actually kind of. Yeah, this I'm, is one of the missions that were was actually pretty fun. Okay, I'm impressed by your memory. Yes. That's bad the word. word. I couldn't remember the word. There, yeah, got her. Thirty-five hundred. She's worth. She's only worth she's worth nothing dead, so I couldn't shoot her. <laughs> it was so because little it. Brett was a bit of a psychopath. Does it do any of you remember? Sorta. I don't like the oh, No, no he's a, just really short. It's a one of those it's a solace. I remember the name of the species. Remember Lando Calrissian's co-pilot? It's one of those things. <laughs> when they adventure bros, they res. They yeah, I knew he was. <laughs> yeah. They resurrect him from a trading card. <laughs> it's like, why did we let him fly? It's like, point in fact, I wanted to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was so funny, and it knew how to fly. <laughs> of course, he knew how to fly. He was a pilot. He's a pilot. Yeah. Well, he's a co-pilot. There's so many bizarre things about that, though. Like, I know it's magic, but it's like... Why does a trading card have a spirit? Yeah. Don't question it. If the Cantina song isn't somewhere on this level, I'm gonna be mad. If you... Like, point your gun at that guy. Well, I guess this isn't Tatooine. At one of those aliens that does that, maybe he'll just start playing. Do you remember where all the bounties in this level are? I might. I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to. No, fuck, I fucked that up. But he was shooting at me and I, I freaked out. They're coming right for us. Oh, is that another one? Where's the bonus area? There's a guy who's actually looks looks really funny. I like if we've kept playing this thing, you started remembering. You just started remembering things like where well, the game Well, the thing is, is, I don't even remember anything about that mission because I didn't play that mission, replay that mission very often because, as you saw, it was bullshit. Like, what well, if you can remember things from a certain year be by replaying video games that you played at that time? That'd be a weird power? <laughs> pa that'd be, it wouldn't be a power. It'd be more like a weird neurological experiment. Or just find a guy who, who lost his retainer when he was in seventh grade and have him play like Super Mario Sunshine.
Nothing. Get no. No, I don't really care about this gun. Yeah.